Hey guys, today we're going to introduce you to the 2018 Chevrolet Traverse. And for the folks that's taking some time and initiative to learn a little bit more about the Chevrolet product, which I do suggest you will know that the 2017 um, got redesigned all the way up for 2018. So this is going to be a completely different vehicle, it's a completely different look. I actually think it's taking on more of a Tahoe look. So we stepped away from the minivan look that I thought the other one had. Side mirrors, you'll notice that this grill is painted along with some black bow ties. Chevrolet comes standard with the gold bow ties, which you're probably used to seeing. This is kind of new over the past couple of years, and I think it actually looks pretty good. You're going to notice a few things on the front of this grill, such as the camera up front. And this camera up front is actually going to give you a few options that a lot of competitors don't have. This camera is a view for if you get too close to somebody while you're driving down the interstate. It's also got pedestrian braking, so if somebody walks in front of you, it is designed to come to a sort of stop. That way you're not hitting them. Hopefully you're driving and paying attention. But it does work in that sense. Fog lights are all standard on a Premier model. I like to show it because it's in the sunlight better. It's got the black door handles, and it's also got the passive entry system. So the key is in my pocket. I never have to take it out. I can lock the doors. I can unlock the doors strictly from just having the key in my hand. When we're talking about this red line edition, we're going to talk about how they took the tail lights and darkened them here to make the aesthetics of this car completely change. The molding around the black, the bumper here is painted, so it looks pretty awesome. If we come around to the tailgate, I'm going to show you a little bit before we get to the inside of it. You'll notice that it's got the black bumpers painted. It's got the rear parking sensors. Um, which comes standard on all LTZ models. Black bow tie in the back, and of course, two cameras, which is kind of weird. I know everybody's wondering, well, why do you have two cameras? One camera is for the reverse camera, and the other camera is for the bird's eye view. Guys, we also have a power tailgate on the back of this vehicle here. There's a button that I'm gonna hit, and you'll notice it'll open up on its own. I can close it with the button, I can close it with this button. The neatest thing is, there's another switch on the inside, that'll close it and there's a switch on the key remote itself so there's multiple ways to close this vehicle without having to stretch especially if you're short um, and it'll make it real easy one thing they did do different they gave you more space here they gave you a ability to have a drop down component so you can fit more stuff in the back of the trunk especially if you're going on vacation it makes it real simple one thing i think they did great was is they added in the ability to fold flat the third row now they did it on the previous models, I know, but it's a whole lot easier to accomplish now by pulling a switch and pushing on it. I didn't put a whole lot of force behind that. Makes it real simple. Just grab the, pull it up. Super simple, super easy. You'll be able to get in and out. And here's where I think this car takes on a whole new life of its own. You're gonna notice that it's got perforated leather seats. So I have the ability to have heated seats in the back as well as heated seats in the front. Um, one thing they did great as well is they gave you a little bit more space to get in and out. It's real simple, I'm six foot tall. It's pretty easy for me. I got plenty of space between here and here. So it's definitely gonna fit the children as well. One thing I like to point out for people riding in the rear, one thing I think is really awesome is that they've got every conceivable outlet you could have imagined here. It's got USB ports. It's got a power outlet. Um, you can run a laptop. You can charge your phones. Um, you can run your iPads. Whatever you want to while you're on a trip. You don't have to worry about it. It's also got rear climate controls for everybody back here. So anybody, if they're cold, if they're hot, they'll be able to adjust it. One thing this car vehicle offers here is 
a sunroof for the rear and I'm gonna call it a moonroof because it does not actually open it is just strictly for skylight but if you want some extra sunlight of course now you have it um, this seat right here has the ability to fold down all right so this one's really easy if you want some extra space so when this seat's laid down you can fit a lot of extra stuff in here and like I was saying just a second ago this seat's going to do something different than any other car on its market and it's called a smart slide I pull one handle I lift up and the seat actually rotates forward so it makes for somebody of average height the ability to get in and out on their own without having to move a whole lot and the reason why I showed you this is this is going to be pretty awesome especially if you have little kids so assuming you got your booster seat in here you no longer have to take it out it just rotates forward That'll save a heck of a lot of time for people trying to switch in and out. Now, if you're driving a car, there's going to be some features on this front door panel that I spoke about just briefly earlier. Of course, the rear tailgate button that we talked about is located up front. It does have the Bose audio system. Of course, as you know, on a high-level model like this, it's going to have power windows and power door locks, plus the um, integrated um, buttons for the memory seating. This is actually pretty cool and it's only standard on this red line model. It's a textured plate for the door panel. It gives it a truly different aesthetic look than you've ever seen before. All right. And as I spoke about in the back, one thing that this, this vehicle does that a lot of other vehicles don't offer, of course, is perforated heated seats. So you got it in the you got it from, from the back seat and you got them in the front seat. But this one's also going to give you cooled seats too. And you'll notice the textured pattern on the seat that I showed you before. Um, before we get inside the car, the heated and cooled seat buttons are pretty easy to find. One thing that this vehicle offers is a lot of storage, which I showed you from the back. I'm going to show you in the front here. There's a middle console. I flip it up. Super easy. I take out a tray that I can use um, to store my change. I can put anything else inside there I want as well. Also on this Traverse, you're going to get a leather wrapped steering wheel, along with some controls that if you're used to anything with the Chevrolet model lineup um, and part of the Cadillac 2, um, you'll, you'll be familiar with these controls here. But it is cruise control. I got forward collision buttons here. I've also got a heated steering wheel, um, which you know our weather can change in the south like day is the night. So you may need it um, tomorrow morning. You never know. It's also got radio controls here. And these radio controls are voice activated, so you can plug in your phone and run everything through this car system. You also have a display switch button here which is all located through here so I can easily change through my displays right in front of me it gives me all the information I need including something that everybody's kind of wondering about a lot of times it has a speed limit indicator this thing has integrated maps so when I'm driving down the road it'll tell me what the speed limit is supposed to be you no longer can use the excuse I have no clue what the speed limit was it's gonna tell me. so if you got a backseat driver it gives them the ability to tell you what to do um, also up here, because it has the Bose audio systems, it's going to have some high speakers in the top corner and it's going to have one bass subwoofer right here in the rear. Um, while I'm up here, something that is super new to Chevrolet is the rear vision camera. Now this is pretty awesome. You've got a standard view camera and then one switch of the button, it goes to a rear view mirror camera. And that's part of those two cameras that I was speaking to you in the back, back about. So this gives you a wider view of everything going on. At first sight, it is kind of odd um, riding down the road and you're not seeing your reflection in it. But once you use it once or twice, I promise you, you're going to love it. And you can tell that the clarity of this right here is pretty freaking awesome. One thing I like to point out to everybody is, of course, that the, um, you got plenty of space for your cups. You got them in the doors, you got them right here. But the most important thing about this particular car is the wireless charger. At least to me, it is because I can set my cell phone down. I have a case on here, as you can tell. But this wireless charger, will pick up my phone and tells me it's charging already. So all I gotta do is put my phone down and it's automatically gonna charge my phone while I'm riding down the road. I don't have to plug my cord in, which is awesome for me. But if I ever wanted to, of course I have my USB ports here, um, so I can plug it in and charge it if I want to as well. It's got dual climate controls from left to right. I showed this to you earlier, heated and cooled seats. It's got all your air conditioning controls right here. It's got the Chevrolet MyLink system. If you've seen it in one car, you've seen it in all of them, but they update it every year. So some of these things are a little bit different before. One thing I'm going to show you that most people don't know this car has is the ability for the screen to raise up. 
so you can take your cell phone, lock it away, whatever you want to do, but it also has the ability for a USB port in the back, so you can charge your phone while it sets in the screen behind here. And Chevrolet does something different, at least from my opinion, and I can't tell you about every other car, but the neatest thing about it is that you can plug your car in and leave it charging in that backside, and without the car on it, it's still charging, um, still charging any wireless device you have, actually. Um, my link system here is all touchscreen, home button. So here you have everything you could want. Your phone controls, projection, which if you've learned a little bit over time, it's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So your cell phone kind of projects onto the screen. This one has embedded navigation, which I spoke about a few minutes ago. It's got weather. It's got text options. Heck, we've got rear climate controls up here. So you could change the climate controls if you got young ones in the back and then you don't have to sit there and try to fiddle with the controls or try to figure out if they're cold or if they're hot. It's got traffic alerts. Heck, we even have a shop button. You can download Pan, Pan, Pandora? Yeah, I think it's Pandora. I was going to say Pantera, but that's a band. So let's go with Pandora. Pandora is going to have um, iHeartRadio. It's got almost everything from Fox Sports. Well, it circumference is a little bit of it all. Um, so you have that ability. Now, we talk about the cameras. If I put it in reverse, it's gonna give you a lot of different camera options. So, I've got a rear vision camera. I've also got that 360 bird's eye view. So, when I start backing up, you can see around you at all points. Now, this is kinda of neat. If I put it in drive, it's gonna give me a front vision camera up to about, I don't know, about five miles per hour. There never is a true um, thing there. So, if you're in a parking lot and you're pulling up close to something, you can actually see the front. How close you are getting to something which is pretty pretty awesome if you ask me so by having all that stuff right there you have no excuse not to at least drive um, safely or at least attempt to drive safely if you take a look at what we have to offer you're gonna be amazed at what it does please come by and see me my name's Adam ask for me directly look us up on YouTube Facebook Twitter Instagram find us let us know how we can help you